Katie and this is Extreme Easter. It's joke time. Why did the Easter egg hide? It was a little chicken. <laughs> For this last challenge, we are going to play Egghead. And because George has won the last few games, that means he is going to get to egg me. Now you can play along by deciding, do you think these eggs are hard boiled or not? Let's go and find out. Jesus had died, a rich man called Joseph of Arimathea went to Pilate and he said, give me Jesus' body and I will bury it. Then he took Jesus' body and he rolled it in pieces of linen and he placed it in a brand new empty tomb. A huge stone was rolled in front of the tomb and a seal was placed on it by the chief priests and the Pharisees. Then they even placed some guards in front of the tomb. This was Easter Saturday, when the world was completely still. Nothing else could be done. Yet three days after Jesus had died, some women went to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body with spices. But when they got there, the stone had been rolled away and they found no body inside. An angel appeared to him and said, he isn't here, he has risen. You see, Jesus is alive. And that is why we celebrate Easter, because he is the extraordinary, victorious God. And through Jesus, we can have the victory too. You see, Jesus has overcome everything, even death. So you and I can have the victory through him. This is why we celebrate Easter. Hi everybody, Hunter and I have come to the park and, well wait a minute, what's that that we've seen? Hunter, Hunter, did you see the Easter Bunny? The Easter Bunny is in the park and he has gone and I'm sure I saw some more Easter eggs. Do you want to find some more chocolate, Hunter? Oh, he's got one, but we need to find the Easter Bunny. I wonder if we can do it. Let's go and see and find out. Poor Hunter only has one Easter egg left. Can he win and find the bunny? So where is the Easter Bunny? Where did he go? There. There? No, I don't think so. Where is he, Hunter? Where is the Easter Bunny? Hunter, I think I can spot him. There he is. 
There he is, Hunter, there he is. about how Jesus is our victorious God. Well, what does victorious mean? It means that you have the victory. But what does that mean? It means that you have defeated someone or something. You have overcome that problem or that obstacle. Jesus overcame death. You see, everybody thought that Jesus had lost. He had died. And it was all really very sad. But Jesus never lost. You see, three days later, he rose again. That means Jesus, he's alive. And he can come and live in your heart and be number one in your life. All you have to do is invite him in. And the amazing thing is that he is the victorious God who also gives you and me the victory in our lives. That means that we have the power to overcome our problems and our obstacles. Not because we're particularly strong, but because by his Holy Spirit living in us. God is Father, Son who is Jesus and the Holy Spirit who comes into our lives. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4 verse 13 that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You see, you and I can have the victory through Jesus to do anything with his power and by his spirit. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, thanks be to God who has given us the victory through Christ Jesus. So, if you're trying to face a big problem or you've got something difficult in your life, just remember that you can overcome it. You can have the victory through Jesus. All you need to do is call on his name and ask for his help and he will help you. out with you. We'll see you soon. Bye!